I have one simple request, and that is to have electric cars with freaking solar panels attached to their roofs. Now evidently Elon informs me that he's not going to do it. Type with a giant long hood, that could be a giant solar panel. Well at the beginning of Tesla I did want to have this like unfolding solar panel thing that you'd press a button and it would just like unfold these solar panels and like charge recharge your car in the parking lot. Ah. Yeah, we could do that, but I think it's probably better to just put that on your roof. Right. And yeah. and then it's going to just be facing the sun all the time cuz like what car otherwise your car could be in the roof? shade, you know, it could be in the shade, it could be in a garage or something right. like that. Yeah. Elon, what are you smoking? I mean, it's legal, right? It's totally legal. Okay. How does that work? Do people get upset at you if you do certain things? There's uh, tobacco and marijuana in there. That's all it is. Yeah, we could do that, but I think it's probably better to just put that on your roof. Put that on your roof. Put that on your roof. This is my 2014 Chevy Volt. I've got two 100-watt solar panels on the roof. They are the Renogy Slim design, 12-volt nominal, and I have them wired in parallel. That power feeds through the hatch and into the 12-volt battery through this uh, PWM charge controller. I have a 12-volt to 120-volt power inverter in the trunk just in case I need 120-volt power. I keep that hooked up all the time. The solar panels keep the 12-volt battery charged while it's parked, which should reduce the amount of uh, load on the charging system. And when the vehicle is driven, it uses enough 12 volt power that is able to consume all of the solar energy generated by the panels. What I really want to do is charge the high voltage battery. That will make it a true solar powered car. So if you want to know how this project turns out, then you should subscribe and enable notifications. Or if you're not logged in, bookmark this channel. And I'll also be sharing any tips or tricks that I find out about the Chevy Volt.